Found us. Perimeter defenses are failing. We're being overrun. Understood. On my way. All wings form on me and defend the base. If the Gwarf capture Magus, any hope Earth has at freedom is lost. <laughs> Master Gorath, we've located the Earther base. Their cloaking shield is down and we are advancing. Our forces are encountering heavy resistance. <laughs> resistance from these simpering mammals? Send in a UMD and make sure the Avatar prototype the Earther stole from us is captured and damaged. Or I'll have your jaw blocks. Yes, War Master. <laughs> My job, taking Megas into the past. Negative. The time flux is untested. We don't even know if your modifications to the Glorf technology have stabilized. If anything goes wrong, you could be trapped in a timeless temporal rip forever. We don't have a choice, Captain. Megas would have made all the difference at the Battle of the Last Stand. In theory. I know that with Megas, I can turn the tide and change the outcome of the war we lost. I have to take it back there now. We'll keep them off your back as long as we can. Sir, some sort of spatial anomaly has just appeared off our port bow. What kind of anomaly? It's like nothing I've ever seen before. It seems to be temporal in nature. A time warp? That's impossible. That technology is only theoretical. Earthers can't even tell time, let alone travel through it. Sir, it's getting bigger. Captain, it's too hot in here. I'll try to transfer to Megas en route to the Temporal Warp. Copy that, Commander. There, there! What's that? It's the missing Avatar prototype, sir. What have they done to my robot? It appears to have been heavily modified by the Earthers. Thank you, Commander, for stating the brutally obvious. Follow it! We can't let it get away! Sir, we don't know how that anomaly will affect us, or... They're trying to cut them off. 
Any remaining drones, form on Commander Andrew and provide cover while she transfers to Megas. They're trying to transfer a pilot onto the prototype. Main batteries, open fire! Throw it out of the stars! Come on, come on! That's bad. Sir, we are too close to the anomaly. We have to back off. No! If we fall into it without any sort of temporal guidance system or coordinates, who knows where we may end up? We would be helpless and blind. I am not letting that mech escape! Full speed! Follow it in before the warp closes! What's so important that I had to get up before noon? What's the big secret? You're looking at it. This is what you've been working on all this time? It's cool, but... I mean, it's not that cool. Huh? Your mom's so gonna kill you. Coop, where'd you get this thing? I found it under a bunch of stuff at the old junkyard. So who do you think would win in a fight? Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster? Ooh, good match. I'd have to go with Bigfoot. He's fast. No one's even gotten his picture. No way, man. Nessie is like a hundred times his size, and she's got a wicked long neck. Hey, go. What's in this pile, anyway? Don't really know. It's been around here since this place was open back in the 30s. And you never went through it? Nah, I've been too busy, what with all my social obligations and all. But I've never seen you leave the junkyard. Oh, yeah, all the time. I got things, you know. How much for this? Uh, let's see here. Two bucks. How about this? Two bucks. Hey, how about this? Two dollars. How about... Two Bucks. Anything in that pile, two bucks. I doubt that whole pile is worth more than two bucks. <laughs> Whoa. What's that? No idea. Two bucks, huh? I'll take it. Oh, man. It was pretty banged up, so I had to do a lot of custom work. Check it out! Ejection seat, jet boost, rocket launchers, front and back, argon trinsic shielding. Nice. What's argon trinsic shielding? Uh, I don't know. That's just what it said on the controls. What's that? Don't know. Okay, now we know what that does. Coop, do you realize what we could do with this thing?
Oh, yeah. Coop, turn it off! Huh? Turn it off! I'm trying, it's not working! Whoa! Where'd they come from? The future. Now hand over my robot, you primitives! I'm not with him. This is Commander Kiva Andrew of the Earth Coalition. That robot is a very dangerous weapon, and I want it back! Hey, I found it. It's mine. Finders keepers. I repeat, surrender Magus or face the consequences. I got your consequences right here. Drive this thing? Hey, how hard can it be? Now, where's first gear? Yay! Oops. Uh, you can drop me off now. Too late. Hold on! Hey, you're pretty good. For a girl. Stupid ape! We're wasting time. There's no reason to fight. That robot you're piloting was sent back to this time by mistake. Hey, you started it. Actually, you did, Coop. Listen! We need Magus to avert an alien invasion in the far future. We captured that robot from the Glorfed an advanced race that conquered Earth, so we could use it against them. Huh? I've spent the last two years modifying Magus so I could take it back to a point in the conflict where we could help change the outcome of the war in the future. Huh? I'll make this as simple as possible. I need Magus to save the Earth, and I need it now, before the Glorf figure out how to track me through the time stream. My robot wasn't meant to be a toy for a prehistoric Yahoo and his pet monkey thing. Monkey thing? Monkey thing! Blaster, Coop! What? <laughs> hey! Get, get off, you're gonna wreck it! Oh, oh boy. My drones! I can't understand how you beat me. Yeah, they kind of rocked. Uh, I mean, sorry about that. How did you get to be such a good pilot? Well... Hey, uh, Coop, she's jacking your ride. <sighs> What have you done to my robot? My robot. Mine. Pretty cool, huh? Well, I dropped in a new engine, did some body work, gave him a 671 Jimmy Huffer, 10 CD changer. What did you do with the Time Flux control unit? It used to be right there. <laughs> right on! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't fix that part. Without it. Magus is trapped here in the past, and so am I, with you. Well, my robot was all busted up when I found it, so I did the best I could. You ruined it! Earth is doomed! There's no way I can pilot Magus now. Nope, but we sure can. Kicked your butt, huh? Hey, what do you mean, we? That's it! You'll have to do it! You're the only one who can pilot Magus now. 
As much as I hate to admit it, you're our last hope at defeating the Glorfed in the future. Whoa, 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 look, Red, I'm no hero. I'm just a guy from Jersey, okay? I want to cruise around in this baby, smash stuff, maybe pick up some chicks. Chicks dig giant robots. Look, whether you like it or not, now that you have Magus, mankind's future is in your hands. I'll have to train you, of course. And I'll have to fix the time flux unit. Thanks, but I don't need any training. I know this bot like the back of my hand. Idiot! That was the Tachyon Beacon! The Glorfed can find us now! Whoops. So, uh, these Glorfed guys are like invincible aliens who drive supersized, ugly, snot-green robots? Yes. How did you know? Cause that kinda looks like them. Huh? What an awful camouflage pattern. Attention, Earther Drakes! Surrender the stolen warbot, or we vaporize this city. You are no match for the Glorfed! Wow, I'm getting pretty popular. Too bad it's with crazy redheads and aliens. So, I'm guessing that whole story of yours was true. Look at them all. These odds are awful. You're right. It is kind of unfair. Now, it's fair. All right, you alien chumps, you in my town. And nobody gets to wreck it. Um, except for me. Okay, where's first gear again? Our brand new high-tech satellite station is online. Now we can beam Pop TV to every television worldwide. 24-7 shows about rock stars remodeling your house. Last hope, I've changed my mind. Let me drive. Mm, this primitive fights well. <laughs> Come on, you got any more? We need more bad guys to smash. How about one more? Through the human filth piloting my stolen prototype. Although you've put up a good fight, I will have to destroy you now. Bring it on, Squidhead! Send in the UMD. Oh man, that looks like bad news. Ooh, fancy. I've fought it before. There's no way to beat it. No wonder you guys lost with that attitude.
Where do I get one of those? Nice going. Now we're done for. I'm too pretty to die. Prepare for your doom, Earth scum. Yeah? Well, us Earth scum have a saying. The bigger they are, the harder they... Again, Earth of Filth. And next time, I'll destroy your world. Yeah, whatever. Why don't you go on home now? I think I hear your mom calling. Yeah, and next time we ain't gonna go so easy on you. Again with the we. Take us back to the fleet! We need to rearm ourselves. Sir, we can't return. Once we dropped out of the Time Anomaly, we became stranded here in Earth's past. We're trapped here! Yes, sir. We don't have the ability to return to our time without that mech and its temporal device. Then we'll have to get it back! But for now, take us into no space so that we can affect repairs. Huh. Don't you mean run away because we got our jaw blocks handed to us by one Earther? Not the face! Tread lightly, Commander. Or you might find yourself at the head of the next assault. Without a mech! Well, they weren't so tough. Who wants a burger? Or five? Monkey thing, huh? I should have stayed in the future. the bell and the fight is on and brutalizer unleashes a fury of hits with the spike of death but jawbreaker comes back with the hammer of destruction oh my it's a blitzkrieg of mechanical mayhem metal monsters bent on destruction it's relentless this may be the most brutal display of power ever Brutal display of power? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Interesting. I just might be able to use this human fool. What are you doing back there anyway? I know we need to team up to save the world and everything, but you never said anything about messing with my ride. Well, seeing as how you modified the time flex so it doesn't work anymore, I have to try fixing it if we're to have any chance of getting to the future and beating the Glorfed once and for all. But I need parts, and I doubt I'll find them around here. Space Amazons rock. <laughs> <sighs> Hey, ha, hoo, ha, hey, ho, ha. Ah. Hmm. Hey, 
We should find the planet of Amazon space chicks. Kiva, you probably know where one is. I'm from the future, not some comic book, you primitive ape. Check it out. Now tell me you had this thing running better than I do. I had it running like a state-of-the-art heavy attack battle unit. Hey, uh, guys, what do you call a big head with tiny arms and legs? Nanimous. Magnanimous. But you probably knew that already. I am kind of famous. Allow me to explain. I own and run the GCCF. The Galactic Combat Championship Federation. His head is a body with tiny arms and legs. Earthers. Thicker than the Tribasian Nebula. Anyway, Earth was ineligible for competition. Just tiny little legs. But that can all change with this amazing machine of yours. I want you to fight for me, kid. Magus is not some toy to be used in games. It's a highly advanced, yet somewhat mangled, tactical mm. weapon. And we need it to liberate the future. What do we compete for? Oh, nothing. Just the Galactic Championship belt. Ooh. That even matches Megas' paint job. Coop, what if the Glorf attack Earth while we're gone? Or what if Megas gets destroyed? So, interested? Yeah, we're interested. Jamie, I think Coop can make the decision on his own. No, he can't. Yes, he can. Coop, what do you think? quite what I had in mind, but at least we'll get to put Megas through its paces. Welcome, Earther. I'm glad to see you accepted my most generous offer. This place is amazing. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Enough gawking. Coop, get in there and get that belt. I'm gonna check on the odds. Good idea. The farther you are from us and Megas, the better. Oh, I'm sorry. Only the combatant is allowed in the arena. Well, what am I supposed to do? Hey, you could be the round card girl. Or not. I overheard you needed some parts. Maybe I can give you a deal on something in the junkyard. I'll have someone show you the way. Right. Well, since it looks like I have no choice, I might as well do something productive. Coop, be careful. I'll be on Comlink if you need me. And try not to break my robot. I'll be fine, it's me. Hey, what do you mean, your robot? Here's the junkyard. Junkyard? Looks more like a graveyard. Put it all in the new guy and let it ride. <laughs> All systems are ready. Interactive virtual landscape is online. Capacity crowd? Billions of credits at stake? Let's see this subspecies put my money where his fat pie hole is. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Galactic Combat Championship Federation Bash Fest! In the blue corner, making his GCCF debut, weighing in at 47 protos of solid destruction, the Eradicator from Earth, the Blaster from the Blue Planet, the Terror from Terra, hmm, Megas! <laughs> and in the red corner, the Cancer from the Crab Nebula, the Breaker of Black Holes, the Red Supernova! Okay, boys, I want a nice clean fight. And by clean, I mean I want to see total chaos and destruction. Are you ready for the robot rocker? <laughs> you going down! Bring it
cool. This looks like that Fufu restaurant in the mall. sends Megas into last millennium with the first punch. This fight could be over already. Ooh, I can feel the heat from here. You smell that? Someone's cooking Megas on the grill. Can I get some Crytean steaks over here? <laughs> I like mine well done. See what you get for hiring a human? Next. And against all odds, the first Earther to fight in the GCCF wins his debut bout and sets a new time record. Yeah! Let it ride. How you doing? I can't believe it. Maybe I can actually fix the time flux with these. This area is off limits. Please show your security pass. Oh, I just... Uh, the floating head guy said that... The intruder has seen too much. Too much what? Look, I'm just picking up some spare parts. Do we really need to do this? Okay, but you asked for it. <laughs> You there? Did you see that last round? I hope I can get a tape from my mom. Listen, we're in trouble. Magnanimous is up to something. Looks like I was right about you, Earther. You're gonna make me rich. Well, me and some sucker who actually bet on you in the first round. <laughs> Ooh, you think I can get a pit stop? I'm getting kind of hungry, and Megus needs a few repairs. You'll be done soon. With your odds up, I'm gonna make a killing when you lose. Lose? What are you talking about, lose? Let me put it in a way your flatline brainwaves can comprehend. You're gonna lose the next fight. On purpose? Heck no! I insist. And when I insist, you do. Oh yeah? Well I, uh, insist too. I ain't quitting, Magneta, Miggy, Megimi, whatever your name is, that belt is mine! Coop, I'm gonna plug into the system and see what he's got planned. Okay. I'm still hungry, though. Oh, yeah, me and Coop go way back. I taught him everything he knows about, well, pretty much everything. <laughs> Kinda looks up to me. <laughs> okay, let's do this. That Earth Boy's not going down. He dares defy me? I want him leaving the arena in pieces! Lots of pieces! What the? Hey, that's cheating! Coop, it looks like Magnanimous is using some kind of trap.
Yeah, I got that much. I'm trying to override. Goop, what are you doing? I bet everything. I got digits from green skin girls. Green skin girls. I got it. I'm in. Oh, the tide she is a turning. Let me introduce you to the Double Deuce. What else you got, cheater? What's going on? Someone's tampering with the system. <laughs> I'll be broke in ten minutes. I am going to bust some heads. High Rollers. Where the heck is the High Rollers Lounge? Hmm? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way to the... Great. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Hey, Mag. Pretty nice haul, huh? Now, just put the fist down, sweetheart. We both know there's no way you can fight all of us and protect the subform here. Subform? Go get him, Kiva. I got your back. Thanks for getting my back. I wasn't doing anything. Hey, I don't even know her. Coop, are you there? Coop, come in. Kiva, did you see a food court anywhere back there? I'm starving. I gotta admit, I figured you'd have been atomized a long time ago. Hey, when does someone else fight? I've got to make some major repairs. Even the pros get a break now and then, unless it's an endurance match. I saw this pretty cool paper. You are fighting next, and this time, you are going to lose. Not on purpose. Already told you. I figured you might feel that way. So just to make things interesting, I prepared a little surprise for you. Now either you throw the fight, or the redhead and the little girl get a taste of the quantum singularity. Mr. Kaplowski, pay attention. One day you'll need to know what a quantum singularity is, and then you'll be sorry! Yeah, right. Is that bad? A quantum singularity? It's like a black hole, but portable and with a cooler name. Yeah, I guess that's bad. It is. So my advice to you, Take those oversized arms and underdeveloped brain of yours, start losing, and start making me some money. Coop, don't do it! I've got a lot writing on this! You can't lose! Hey, Jamie. Uh, Coop, you have to lose! You have to! Please? <laughs> I can't make it any easier for you. Got it. Coming through. Oh, 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 oh. Try to grab under that tower. <laughs> Isn't there a better way to do this? No. It wasn't my fault. That does it! I can't hold on. I'm not as strong as I look. Jamie, if you drop me, you'll never find the planet of the Space Amazons. I still can't do it! Uh, 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 uh. 
Send in the combat drones. Destroy them! Look out! Just like basic training. This could get a little rough. Wait! Hey, you guys got away. What happened? Well, Kiva got us caught, and then I managed to break us out of the cage, and... How about you let us in and we talk about it later? Coop, you should have seen it. I was winning big. And you gotta see how many numbers I got from these alien chicks. Oh, yeah? Well, you should have seen the royal crowning I've been giving these galactic champs. Eh, I've had tougher times rewiring lawnmowers. Guys! Excuse me a sec. This is so fake. Send in everyone. Which one? Everyone! Yeah, sugar. Huh? Ooh, steel cage match. Now we're talking. Okay, Earther, let's see what you got left in that pathetic excuse for a robot. Pathetic? Oh, man, he shouldn't have said that. Okay, you big-headed, tater-tot-looking freak. You trick me, you stack the odds against me, you threaten my friends, and you insult my robot. Now, I'm mad. That settles that. I'll grab my belt, and we can be home just in time for all you can eat Thursdays at the Rib Hut. Besides, I'm almost out of gas. And I thought you were tough. Not so tough against the Sonic Abominator. Groovy. What was that? Some kind of Sonic bazooka. It's frying the system. So, he wants to fight with sound, huh? Coop, you're not gonna... Sorry, Jamie. He asked for this. Oh, Coop, no one deserves that. Not even Magnumus, Manly Moose, whatever his name is. Rerouting all power to... The Jammer. Where's he going? I never installed anything called the Jammer. Magnanimous! Don't you mean heard the last of Magnanimous? What? I think we've heard the last of everything! What? <laughs> nice! Coop, set course and heading for the planet of the space Amazons. <sighs> All I know is they better have a food court! I'm hungry!
wicked slice. The sun was in my eyes. Yeah, right. Not bad. We should be smashing some bad guys, not a pile of junk. Whew. Not to mention it's gotta be like a million degrees Fahrenheit. No one's keeping you here. I could train Coop better from the front seat. Yeah, I suppose you could. Yeah. You should let me fix the air conditioning. We had more important systems to worry about. Besides, a true warrior must brave harsh conditions. Be easier with the big old thirst-quenching mega slush. After we finish. Aw, oh, come on! Fine, fine. Right after we finish the systems check. A complete check. Oh, that could take hours. Could. Won't. Man, I hate when he does that. How's this for a complete systems check? Well, it seems like everything is running efficiently. You can slow down now. Why? We're in outer space. Nothing for millions of miles. What could we possibly... Hit? Doesn't look like we hit anything. But we should return to Earth and check for damage. I'm so down for that idea. Then, practice is over? Yes. Go down and get your stupid mega slop thing. Rock on from the mega slush! Warning, cloaking system offline. Vental plasma, engage emergency stabilizers. No response. We're losing structural integrity. We have to abandon ship. We can't abandon the ship. What about our cargo? It's supposed to be dumped into a black hole and destroyed. But we're not. Warning, life support offline. 10 seconds to complete systems overload. Let's just stop at this little blue planet for a snack. I heard it had good refreshments. I guess we're in trouble, huh? Not as much trouble as that planet's in. It, buddy ah shut up anyway babies I was saying you need the city lights doesn't anyone use turn signals anymore so coop what flavor are you gonna get stratospheric strawberry slime of course and a fine choice if I may say I can't understand this fascination with a simple beverage obviously you've never had a slushy what do you use to cool off in your time period a ration packet of balanced electrolytic rehydrating fluid? That is one bleak future you come from. Around here, we do thirst quenching right. 44 ounces of pure, delicious mega slush available in a variety of flavors. And all for only a buck 49. You got cash? Me? Check the seat cushions! You complete that important task. I'll try to determine what, if anything, we hit in orbit. Meteor, satellite, the moon, who cares? Magus does appear undamaged. So, no worries. Oh, look! I found a buck! Hang on, Megas Lush, we're coming for ya! Regis 
Mark V. I will destroy all. Regis will incinerate this planet and enslave all its occupants. This thing got a calculator? Oh, let me put all the processing power of this technological marvel to work, adding up your change. That's the spirit. You will all beg for mercy in vain. The debris of your planet will litter this solar system. I shall sup upon your very atoms. Stand aside, or you will be struck down. Die, then. You are no match for the superior tactical abilities of the Regis Mark V. Regis shall turn this planet into a smoldering memory. Is there no one on this pitiful planet powerful enough to stand against the Regis Mark V? Fuel-efficient modes of transportation are no match for the Regis Mark V, which will destroy all. <laughs> Whoa! I know! They got the new Tri-Chamber Super Goblet! Huh? Huh? No kidding, three flavors in one single cup? And I can put Stratospheric Strawberry Slime in all of them! Do not panic. You will all die. Coop, we gotta stop that thing before it hurts me! That thing just hurt my mega slush! Hey, pal, I believe you owe me and my friend here a mega slush. Who dares challenge Regis? Regis is the destroyer of planets, consumer of their rubble, bringer of despair. Regis is... Nice! I don't care who or what you are, ain't no crazy alien robot getting between me and my mega slush. Activating scanning and homing sensors. Good thinking. Maybe we can find out where that thing came from. Huh? Nah. This way, we can find the nearest Mega Slush machine. All right, target acquired. Mega Slush dispenser at Uncle Tony's on Oak. Let's go. Replicant engineered for galactic infiltration and sabotage Mark V. I cannot be stopped. You have been warned. It's slushy time. It's slushy time. Can't stop me now. There it is. Huh? I am Regis. Surrender and I will destroy you peacefully. Didn't we just go through all this? Regis cannot be vanquished. Regis is undefeatable. Oh yeah? Cause you weren't before. Now, where were
were we? Now that you have those things, aren't you the least bit curious about how that robot came back? Curious later. Thirsty now. Down the hatch! Incoming! You are in trouble now. The Regis Mark V is invincible. No weapon forged by such a primitive species can defeat Regis, which is invincible. Invincible. Yeah. Got it. Now how's about the old smash and bash? Yeah! Wait! So far, smashing hasn't stopped it. It's only made it worse. No smashing. No smashing? But I like smashing. No smashing. Okay, okay. No smashing. Uh, how about this? <laughs> That wasn't smashing, now was it? Ugh. Mega slush machine dead ahead. Rock on. You get your drink. I have a destructive alien robot to examine. You want us to pick you up something? Yeah, a new time flux unit so I can get out of this Neanderthal nightmare and back to saving humanity's future? Uh, I don't think they got that. You want some beef jerky instead? Sure. What the? Oh, no. Guys, I found something. This robot is made of a highly unusual and adaptable alloy. 45, 46, 47. Complete with expanding regenerative nanotechnology. With adequate power, it could go on rebuilding and enlarging forever. Dollar fifteen, dollar sixteen. Oh yeah, stratospheric strawberry slime. It's the nectar of the gods. Where was I? Again? The Invincible Regis Mark V mocks your feeble attempts at destruction. Mock this! <laughs> Jamie, remind me to look up Invincible later. And now for the Coupe de Gracie. That just ain't right. Man, that bot just doesn't know when to quit. You okay? Fine. And so is our friend. Just to reiterate, smashing bad. You know, normally I'm pro-smashing, and I hate to agree with Future Girl, but maybe smashing's not the way to go this time. We tried no smashing, and that didn't work. I'm sticking to my strengths, and smashing is my strengths. I just need to find the right way to smash them. This is bad, dude. There's only one mega slush left in Jersey City. The drive through Oh, man. May I take your order? Yeah, uh, give me two stratospheric strawberry slime mega slushes. <laughs> man, I hate the drive through Looks like somebody up front hates it more. <laughs> Man, 
That thing's been mega-sized. Oh, man! That was the last place in the greater Jersey City area! <laughs> Why? Why? Wait, is that? It can't be. Huh? You sick, regenerating alien robot freak! Of our lives inside that thing. Whoa. Whoa! The Regis Mark V is the ultimate fighting machine. Unstoppable, merciless, glorious. No one is safe from the Regis. Nobody, no robot, no alien, no alien robot does that to me and gets away with it. Uh, Coop, anytime now. Try regenerating from that, you pile of junk! I think you actually did it. You saved Jersey City from that thing. Yeah, but at what price? I mean, what's the point of living in a city utterly devoid of even one mega slush machine? There was just one of those bad guy robots, right? One that keeps coming back. You sure it wasn't more like a thousand? You cannot win. Regis cannot lose. We are Regis. There's always Hoboken. Yeah, but that's Hoboken. All I wanted was a mega slush. Just one mega slush, but you wouldn't let me have it, would you? You busted up my town and you tried to eat my robot. Now you're going down. Not good. Not for long! Coop, watch the tap! Megas can't take it! Tell me that was a good noise. We're done. All systems are shutting down. Coop, get us out of here! No dice. We're stuck. Oh, man, will you look at that? <coughs> Too bad they're robots, or they might hack themselves to death. I told you this heat was no good for Megas. That bot in the smoke, it's just standing there. Of course. The Regis unit is solar powered. We just need to cut off the supply of sunlight. No sweat. We'll just wait till night. Or we could come up with a plan that doesn't wait till we're long dead. I'm on it. What are you doing? Just saving us. Foolish organic life form, we have scanned your puny vehicle and your attempts at acceleration are futile. Sorry, Megas. I love you. You will 
will be decimated. Your planet returned to the cosmic dust from whence it came. It's working! Give it more gas! The Regis Mark V is impervious to your tactics. Entire systems fear the Regis. Huh. I saved the world after all. <laughs> yes, sort of. Hmm. Not good enough. Check it out! I think it still works! Come on! You'll like it! Alright, let me see what the big deal is. Wow. Told ya. Ah! Brain freeze. Amateur. All things considered, we got off easy. Just get it all. And don't let it near any metal. We've only got three months before their sun breaks up that layer of smog. I sure could go for a nice warm Claborian tea. Hey, we should stop there on the way home. Shut up. Cool. if we put some cheese in that duotronium isolinear actuator thing. Come on, do it! Do it! Huh? I told him not to do it. Hey! Ugh, just stop that thing! Ah! Oh, right! Absolutely necessary. Look cool to me. <laughs> and go easy with the wax. Gotta look good for the car show. You see? No worries. Everything's back to normal. giant robot category? No, man. How about an ultra-modified category? 
Ultra Modified it is. Rock on! Man, I hope I win the trophy this year. They actually give out a trophy for a car? What do they give out in the future? We don't have auto shows. We're too busy fighting to stay alive. Too busy fighting to stay alive? How long are you gonna milk that thing for? Hey guys, check out my sweet ride. The trophy is as good as mine. Yo! What kind of engine you got in there? Well, which one? I've got one for suborbital, one for transwarp, one for cruising the streets. Uh, I haven't figured out what the other six do, though. Uh, is it hard to steer? Nah. Not if you've mastered a Z-pad and a joystick. Can I get a picture? Sure thing. Not you. Her. Actually, I'd prefer if you didn't... Ooh, competition looks tough this year. <sighs> Dude, you got a giant robot from the future with a car for a head. Yeah, but check out that custom 42 pickup. And this striped 4x4 with the modular shell. And I don't even want to think about that 65 lowrider with the green shag trim and the chain link steering wheel. <laughs> Hola, Coop. Aw, oh, I should have known. Takes more than a fancy paint job to win around here, you know. That sounds like a challenge. Let's do it. Well, bucks it ought to be. Coop, what are you doing? It's not my fault. Something's wrong. I've lost control. Coop, shut it down. Now. I'm trying. It won't respond. Sorry about that. Whoa. Nice of you to help. Looks like Coop is doing enough damage without me. What the heck's going on? I have no idea, but we have to stop it before Coop hurts someone. Hey, uh, wanna check under my hood? <laughs> Sour cream and onion. Who doesn't love that? You gotta shut Megas down! Nothing I try is working! Get the CPU core offline somehow! That should power down all the systems! Sorry about that.
got this, Megus. Hey, Coop! Did you see that chick? I think she digs me, man. Uh... I'm... really sorry. You're awesome. Hey, good call, Coop. You're a man! Yeah, that no, that's the way to go, baby. <laughs> man, where'd you learn to drive like that? Hey! You know, just comes natural, I guess. I'm still gonna take the Motorhead prize. We'll see. Well, at least the worst is over. Is this? It's the prototype, sir. It's malfunctioning. Out of commission. This is what we've been waiting for. They won't be able to stop us! Don't sit there nodding like an imbecile. Set a course for Earth. Battle stations! We'll take back what is rightfully mine and crush the Earther scum. what happened to the computer core. Well, it should work now. I just needed to de-cheese it. Hey, if I had a spork, I'd de-cheese it myself. I think you've done enough. Yeah, no kidding. You're like a trouble magnet. So, Red, want to ride in this year's soon-to-be-winning car? My name is Kiva. Winning car? <laughs> Goat, your ride is a piece of... I know that sound. Those are Mark VII inversion thrusters. Hey, uh, Coop. Friends of yours? There it is. My key to universal domination. Sure, the CPU core is gone. Gone? Well, where the flarp is it? Scanning. We got problems. I have an idea. Whatever happens, they can't get that core. Guess it's just us guys, huh? <laughs> yeah. See ya! Hey, hold on, man! You can't leave Coop hanging! Easy! Ha! Ah, wait up! Sir, that Earther has the CPU core. Get me that core! The prototype is useless without it! Stop him! No! No weapons! You might destroy the CPU core! <sighs> Running for jumps! Get in! Disable that vehicle! Take out the road! Want me to take over now? If you can pilot Magus, I think I can handle an archaic automobile. I always wanted to do that! You always wanted to do that? Guy thing. Why'd I take a scooter? Yo! I'm open! You oversized slugs got a problem with my boys? I got a problem with you! Don't let these primordial imbeciles 
missiles outsmart you! Get me that Delorpid core! Now's our chance! Stop them before they escape! Destroy that structure! And bring me that CPU core! Sorry. Got carried away. Find the Earther! And find the core! Whoa. That Kiva is one hard-driving, high-flying, future-packing mama. Oh, man. They're really outnumbered. No sweat. We just need a little help. That don't look too bad. I might be able to fix it, but I need some time. There they are. I must admit that your strategies are strange and cunning, but mostly strange. Now to finish this dance. You want to dance? Okay, we'll dance. We're going manual. Manual? Whatever made you install a manual backup? It's complicated. Coop, it looks like these modifications can only mimic your exact moves. And you have no access to the weapons array. Don't need them. Got a better idea? Keep them off us for as long as you can. Arthur! Prepare for your end! Oh no. I'm just getting started. Going, Kiva. I need more time. I don't know how much longer I can hold these guys off. What's this? Let's show these alien slime balls how we do things in Jersey. Rock on! Uh, do you guys really need me for this? All right! Moves, Coop. Wait up. You guys need me. You're in my seat. And why are you wasting time on that thing? Coop can do it manually. Hmm. Let's see. A computer that can process 7.2 million defensive and offensive maneuvers a second? Or that? <sighs> uh, less talk, more work. Fake left! Fake down! Watch the guy on your left! My left! We have the same left! Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. I 
need a bridge to complete the circuit. Hurry! What's taking so long? Here, hold this. And this. CPU online. Nice. Watch the pain! Watch the pain! Way to go, Coop! All right, you intergalactic snots! You busted up my car show! Yeah! You wrecked my friend's rides! Yeah! And... You made me run half a block! Yeah! Half a block? Now, it's payback time! He's too strong! Keep fighting! Stand and fight! Who ordered a retreat? Sir, we can't afford to lose any more men. Don't think this is over, monkey boy. I may be a monkey, but I ain't no chicken. I'll play your game, Earther scum. Are you nuts? Hey, shame here. Ha ha ha! Pathetic! No one can defeat me! Oh no. A temporary setback! You haven't seen the last of me, Arthur! I will return and annihilate you! Yeah, yeah, you always say that. You space freak. Yeah! And the Grand Master of this year's auto show is... by a unanimous vote... Kiva! What? Who? Oh, man. Yeah. We all agree that the way he rebuilt his CPU after Coop smashed it was pure mechanical genius. Yeah, well... So it gives me great pleasure to present you with the Golden Steering Wheel Trophy. When I first got into modifying vehicles, I never dreamed it would be for anything other than superior firepower or tactical domination. Well, I guess she deserves it. So, Coop, how's about we finish our little competition, huh? Now you're talking. Hmm, how'd this work again? But now I've seen that cars... Coop, wait! I haven't finished fixing the car yet! It's all right, it's cool. I stopped it. Hey, it's not so bad. We can still salvage the cars. Yeah, um, okay then. Who's up for popcorn chicken?
check this one out. Nice. Kiva, this is a great idea. Who would think training could be so much fun? Training isn't supposed to be fun. If we're to have any hope of defeating the Glorf, you need to hone your skills. Yeah, yeah, I know. Future of mankind is in my hands, blah, blah, blah. At least out here in deep space, you won't break anything important. Don't be so sure. Ooh, that looks like a good one. Kiss your asteroid goodbye. Wait, that's not an asteroid, it's a mine. Oh, man. Okay, now just back out of here nice and easy. Right. Nice and easy. Whoops. Whoa! Whoa! Could you try avoiding some of them? Hey, Red, you want to drive? Yes. Look out! That was a bad one. I'm losing control. I'm going to try to make it to that giant space donut. Space donut? That's too big to be a donut. You can never have a big enough donut. It's some kind of ring world. Whatever it is, we're going in. Hold on. the damage uh, I'll be all right I was talking about Magus not too bad mostly minor stuff you call crashing on a giant space donut thousands of light years away from Earth minor well yeah let's take a look around I'm sure you woke up all the bad guys now. Actually, scans indicate no life readings. See, Jamie, no bad guys for you to be scared of. I'm not scared, just cautious. <laughs> You're scared! You're scared! She got you, man. Shut up, dude. Wonder what these tower things are. Uh, buildings? There doesn't seem to be any way in. No power, either. Judging by the architecture and alloys involved, this place was built by a highly advanced race. Oh, yeah? If they were so advanced, what happened to them? Only one way to find out. Break it open and look inside. Wait! We have no idea what this place is, and there's no telling what kind of threat it may pose. Man, I never get to break anything anymore. Giant robots. Great. Now I feel safe. Guess we know what happened to the locals. Yeah, what's that funk all over them? Just looks like some kind of web. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Whoa! See? I told you! Bad guys!
created a power source. Maybe now we can get some answers. That's what I'm saying. The mysteries of the universe are revealed when you break stuff. I thought you said there was no life here. There isn't. It's obviously non-organic, probably silicon-based. That's why the scans didn't pick it up. Yeah, that's great. Can we leave now? I'm sure we can find some non-giant robot bug trouble back in Jersey City. But I like giant robot bug trouble. Let's get back topside. Oh, they're data storage drives. You mean computers? Any good games on them? It looks like an evolutionary chart. Social structure? And entire history of an alien race. This is an archive world. But no games? Come on, that's lame. Amazing. This place could have information on every species in the universe. Yeah, like an interstellar library. With some wicked bookworms. I have bad luck with libraries. Put the good stuff too high. I wonder if there's any information on the Glorfed, or a race that has time travel. Even if there is, there's like a gazillion of those towers. It'd take forever to find the right one. Uh, I don't think we have forever. Okay, bugs. Time to get it on! Hold on! Look at them! What's wrong with them? I think they're blind. Blind? Heck, this will be easy. Let me just jump on them. Wait! They're attracted to energy signatures. They see energy? I think so. So why don't they see us? The tower's power output must be hiding Magus. Hopefully they'll just ignore us. What the? We're losing power. Oh, no. The core. What was that? Something got on board. What? what? It must be an infant stage of one of those things. You mean it's in here? In Megas? One of those things is in my robot? It may be the reason Megas is malfunctioning. I'm gonna go down to check out the core. I'm gonna need backup. Not it. I got a pilot Megas, plus I'm kind of big bone, you know? I called not it. Listen, Jamie, I have to go in and fix the core, and I can't do it alone. It'll be fine, man. No sweat. All right. Coop, Magus doesn't have enough power for a prolonged fight. Use your head and stay concealed. And don't damage any of those towers. Let's go, Jamie. I suggested a nice, quiet day playing video games. But no. Ugh, it smells like sweat socks down here. All I gotta do is stay out of the fight and not break anything? I can do that. I hope. Back off! What are you doing? Well, when we get attacked, I can use you as a shield and run for safety. Uh, I mean help. <laughs> what makes you think it'll attack us from the front? Uh, hey, uh, let me take point. Stay out of the fight. Stay out of the fight. Isn't there another way? Like one that won't crush me? Only one way to get to the core. After you. Whew! 
That was close. you to conserve your energy. Sorry, guys. Had to pull the Magnoflex. We should be cool now. Yeah, well, you just make sure. Whoa! What is that? <laughs> Ew. He wouldn't last a second in the 31st century. Coop, we got it. But the power is still being drained. So there's more of these things? A lot more. Coop, we got a problem in here. Uh, yeah, I got a problem out here too, guys. Can't do any moves. Power low. Don't want to hurt the guys. Let me borrow this. Bad. Here's the trouble. Whoa! Whoa! There's more! It's making more! And that must be the queen. Coop, one of the creatures has attached itself to the core. I'm a little busy right now. Cover me, Jamie. What? Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. I'm on it. Oh, man. That's the second in the 31st century. <sighs> what happened? I thought I was winning. Uh, yeah, you, uh, the queen thing knocked you out. But don't worry, I took care of it. Right. Let's fix this core. What's the matter? Can't you see me? <laughs> I'm right here! Power's back online. Nice timing, Red. What happened to you? I let my guard down. It won't happen again. We got company! Hold on! Whoa! Right now. Just too 
many of them. She's got a point. I got him on the ropes. Just give me a few more shots. Please tell me that was your stomach, Coop. Now that you mention it, I am kind of hungry. I only had a cheesesteak sandwich and two large pizzas before we left home. Oh, man. This is bad. Well, look on the bright side. At least it can't get any worse. Gotta be kidding me! What is with this place? I think we're gonna need a bigger bot. Don't panic. With all these towers running, we should be hidden from the creatures. Well, we don't need this. have to make it worse. What are you, Mr. Perfect? Coop, get us out of here. We're no match for these things. What about your towers of knowledge? They're no use to us if we're dead. And you're just gonna break them anyway. No way. Listen up, you low rent Mothra wannabe. You're going down and you're going down extra hard. No one gets away with trying to mess up my robot. Let's get it on! Ah! Uh, let's try that again! Getting ready for dinner? Coop! I'm trying. Coop? I'm trying. Coop! Moth like bug! Anti cocoon! Coop, no! <laughs> I didn't install that. You did that by mistake, didn't you? Nah. Nah, man. Pure skill. I can't believe it. You actually saved the ring world without breaking anything. Hopefully we can use the info to properly fix Magus, get back to the future, and beat the Glorf once and for all. Yep. One of these days, you guys will learn to trust old Coop.
I was so hoping that would happen. <laughs> nice work. I told you I had bad luck with libraries. Come on, I bet all that info is backed up. Was you huh all that knowledge infinite amounts of wisdom that could have served the entire universe gone forever oh well if we haul butt we might get back in time for mighty monster trucks in mud this time see if you can avoid the minefield minefield what minefield Be ready shortly. Here is a report of the progress. I don't need reports. I need results. I need the ultimate planet destroyer operational. No! Sir, but won't the UPD destroy the prototype as well as the Earth? Your penchant for stating the obvious is getting old, Commander. Of course it will! I'll destroy them all! If I can't have the prototype, no one can! Especially not some fat, primitive, monkey-minded proto-earther! Okay, got the food, got the candy, got the tape queued up. Almost time for Millennium Mash, the wrestling event of the century. Well, I guess I should see what all this fuss over professional wrestling is about. Great, have a pork rind. Trust me, you're gonna love this! Coolest thing you've ever seen! Somehow I doubt that. At least I may get some insight into the logic behind your fighting technique. Logic? <laughs> technique? <laughs> Looks like the cable's out. Hmm. I bet the problem is that the dish ain't got enough power. I'll just juice it a little. You sure about this, Coop? I mean, you're messing with a TV. Hey, trust me. It's just a tiny jump start. What could it hurt?
That all you got? <laughs> not bad, not bad. Not bad? Give it up, I win. The comfy chair is mine. Can't you guys just share it? Ain't no reason to share, cause I'm gonna end this right now. Eh? Whoa, Coop, that'll make your stomach explode. Yeah, right. You just don't wanna lose. You're messing with the big boys now. No, seriously. I know someone who knew someone whose cousin did it. Don't you guys even want to see if the TV works? I don't believe this. Why now? Why? The show is starting! Well, we should be training you to be a better pilot anyway, and not watching some stupid sport. But this is how I train. How do you think I got so good? TV! Still ain't working, man. Coop, forget it. It's just television. The world can do without it. Let that happen. I tried everything I could think of. Nothing's working. Huh. Satellite must be down or something. Satellite? It's gotta be the satellite. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. What exactly are you planning on doing to it when we get there? Juice it. What else? Juice it? Like you juiced the dish? Uh, Coop, you might have to come up with a better plan. What the heck are those? I'm not sure. According to these readings, those things are absorbing the TV and radio waves from the satellites. You mean they're eating the signal? Like, eating TV shows? For lack of a better term, yes. That's the most horrible thing I've ever seen in my life. This desecration stops now! Where are they coming from? There's something behind the moon. Coop, don't do anything rash until we know what we're dealing with here. How's this for rash? Hmm, that wasn't so tough. Yeah, we usually destroy a whole city before the bad guy goes packing. I think we may have a bigger problem. Well, there's something you don't see every day. That thing is definitely absorbing the satellite signals. It's overflowing with TV waves. I wonder where it came from. It must have been some kind of space warp or electrical storm or something. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that blast of television waves you caused had nothing to do with this thing coming to Earth. Well, I've beaten guys bigger than this before. No, you haven't. The thing's a flippin' planet. No problem. I'll just take care of it Jersey City style. Might need another plan. We could go home, ignore it, and hope it goes away. I'll see if I can find some kind of weak spot. I don't need a weak spot.
was great. Now how about trying something that works? I don't see you doing anything. Hey, what about my suggestion to go home and ignore it? Too late! I'm, uh, open to ideas. I can't get free! Coop, fire out thrusters! We're stalling! He's pulling us in! Hold on! So this is how it all ends. I always thought I'd go down fighting a bunch of cyborg ninjas or something cooler than this. will dissolve us in seconds. Fire the jets! 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 Where'd I put the jets? Sorry about that. Well, as long as we stay away from that acid, we should be okay. What do we do now? We need to come up with a plan to stop this thing before we do anything else. So we just sit here? Suits me. Man, I gotta seriously rethink my layout design. Heads up, giant boogers! They don't look too bad. Whoa, scratch that! They're eating my robot! Pew, pew! Where are you going? Gotta get out of here somehow. Glad that's over. What's that? I'm getting some signals from our satellites. I guess they're still broadcasting. My cable satellite? Where? The signals are coming from that direction. I'm happy you found the satellite and all, but we're still stuck in a planet-sized monster with killer boogers in it! Could this get any worse? Yes. If I'm right, this thing is going to feed on the biggest source of TV and radio waves there is. Earth. Well, if the only way I'm gonna find out who becomes this summer's Master of the Millennium Mash is by getting rid of this chump, so be it. And we could try to save the Earth while we're at it. Oh yeah, that too. Look at this place. This thing has probably been wandering through space, devouring anything that gave off any sort of radio wave. We've got to find a way out. Thousands of people back home are depending on me so they can see the Millennium Mash. Coop, that thing could crush us. Nah, I just gotta time it right. You sure about this? This is just like level 12 of Cavern Crashers. Coop aced that level in two minutes. A national record. World record, thank you very much. Sorry, dude. We just can't let anything distract him. <laughs> It's the booger things! Ah! This might
might be close. Okay, maybe that wasn't like level 12. Man, this place just gets nastier and nastier. I wonder where we are now. This thing eats almost as much as you do, Coop. <laughs> almost. No. Nope. Look at that. No. No. Heck no. Over there. Yeah! So, what do we do now? We get the heck out of here. How? Old school. Kiva, which way's out? Well, I guess we could follow the debris to the mouth. Great. You sure you know what you're doing, Coop? Hey, I got us this far, didn't I? Takes care of that. Coop, that thing is still on a direct course for Earth. We've only got minutes before it comes within range of destroying the planet. No, I'm sick of this thing. It's trying to eat my planet, it messed up my paint job with acid bugs, and it made me miss my show. I'm taking this TV-eating sucker to the mat. Uh, I got nothing. Any ideas? How the heck do you stop a planet-sized space beast that eats television waves? Hmm. Uh. Huh? Uh, uh. Too bad we can't force it to overeat. That always does me in. No, it doesn't. Well, yeah, but you know, like regular people get sick if they eat too much. That's it. What's it? It eats television and radio waves. We'll overload it. How are we going to do that? I'll just reconfigure Megas's electromagnetic pulse torpedo. The shock from the pulse should overload it and destroy it. Nice. Okay, that should do it. Fire the EMP torpedo. That's the EMP torpedo? Why? Oh, nothing. Cool. <laughs> It's, uh, growing! What did you do? How was I supposed to know what an EMP torpedo was? It never did anything before, so I, you know, tweaked it a little. You tweaked it? Into what? A refrigerator? Man, I had good stuff in there, too. Cupcakes, jerky, cheesesteaks, soda, rock pops, ham wrapped in pizza. What? You just launched rock pops and soda into the stomach of a planet-sized space monster? Come on, that's just an urban legend, right? This is gonna be so cool. Get us out of here, now! I'm on it! Wait! I want to see this. We're not gonna make it! Sir, 
The planet destroyer is online. Drop out of null space and prepare to attack! Destroyer has been, um, destroyed. I lead the most feared armada in the universe, and one pathetic monkey man continues to thwart me! How? How does he do it? Huh? I don't get it. I've done all I can. I check the connections, I juice the dish, I put the satellite back into orbit. Why doesn't the cable work? Cope! Cope! It's waiting! Yeah, Mom! I'm in the basement! Did you pay the cable bill like I asked? I, uh, I'll be right back. Just gotta go pay the bill. Unbelievable. You sure you want to go out in this coop? It's still coming down pretty hard out there. Butter up some popcorn and break out the jerky sticks. I'll be back in a sec. Hey, pick up some more rock pops while you're at it. have wreaked havoc throughout the quadrant, terrorized multiple life forms, decimated planets. Yet you have shown no remorse. My only remorse is that I can't destroy your planets again. Order! Order! Yes! Cower in fear! Your screams are music to me! I hereby sentence you to eternity, imprisoned with the lowest scum of the universe! Imbeciles! No prison can hold me! This one can. What? You fool! I shall avenge myself on you! All of you! Looks like you won't be killing any planets for a long, long time, Gurkek. Oh, cool! I never played this one! Show me what you got!
that? Waste of time. Doesn't fit into any game console. Doesn't fit, huh? I got away with these things. If I can't get a video game to work, there's no way you can. I think I know a little more about video games than you and just about anybody on this planet. Or any planet. Do not do too. I've played video games you've never even heard of. Skeleton Racer. Huh. High score champ. Flam Factory 5. Imported Domestic Edition. Demolition Derby Dunces. Played it this morning. Love those lerps. Seven. Those cheesy little orange elves from that preschool show? Uh, no. Ha! In your face, I win. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, yeah, you win. Don't listen to him, my precious. Check this out. Hey, Kiva. Looking for some new threads? Cause I could help you out. You? Help me? Yeah. This. Nice, huh? <laughs> or this. This is what people wear in your time? Just the really, really cool people. Just a mark for the only video game I never play. Rock on! Yeah, and only three bucks to make Kiva look like an idiot. Perhaps I should wear some less conspicuous clothing. I understand I can purchase more clothes at something called the mall. The mall? I hate the mall. Dude, why didn't you bring Magus? We could have had some fun. No way, man. I got me a game to play. And you volunteered for Kiva duty. Kiva duty? What's that? Nothing. You guys have fun shopping for chick stuff. I'll be enjoying my new video game. See ya! It is attractive, but no good to me in a firefight. Yeah, that's funny. And this khaki stuff is comfortable, but will it offer the protection of Tritanium Refractive Armor? Sure it will. I don't think you understand. Look, you gonna buy this stuff or what? Excuse me? Thanks for your help, Jamie. Hey, at least I didn't get us kicked out of the mall this time. Let's get back. Coop, come in. Coop, do you read me? Coop! Guess we have to walk back. Ooh, a fighting game! Sweet! Let's see. I choose who's the scariest, most dangerous guy. Talks like that. I'm gonna beat you down just for talking all weird. Fancy pants! This game's lame. 
Could have bought some jerky instead. Solid ground beneath me once more. Think I'll destroy it. They think their interdimensional prison can deplete my power? Not for long. Hey, pal. I was gonna fix that. This is my town, you reckon? What was that? Whatever it is, I'm sure it's Coop's fault. What is this? Some alien life form come to beg for its puny life? Amusing. Coop, you there? Something's going on. It could be the Glorft again. Uh, the good news is, it's not the Glorft. Now where did that come from? I should thank you for releasing me. Of course. Don't mention it. Instead, I shall destroy you. Running away like a girl. What is all this stuff? Hey, the guy's dedicated to his games. Coop, your precious game cartridge is actually some kind of prison containment unit for intergalactic criminals. And you let one out! I kind of figured that much. I have to devise a way to return him to the cartridge. Yeah, well just don't go messing up my games. Okay? Then again, if you really want to, you can figure out how to put him back. I have waited long for a worthy adversary. Such a shame you'll be vaporized. Jeez, why didn't you fight like that when you were in the game? Ready here. No prob. I got this guy on the ropes now. <laughs> How you like that? Okay, I reversed the magnetic polarity gate on the cartridge. We should be able to retrap this Gurkhek. Hey, did you find anything at the mall? Dude, you missed it. We got kicked out by security. It rocked! I can't leave you guys alone for one second, can I? So, how'd you fire that cool looking laser? Was it this button? This? This thing. Get off the controls! You don't know what you're doing! Well, neither do you. Okay, ready. Guys! Guys!
the cartridge. Where do you expect them to go now? I don't know. Philly? One planet killer just wasn't enough for you, was it? Forget about that guy. I cleaned his clock just like I'll whoop these chumps. Coop! Do something already. to separate you two? Titanium refracting armor, but they got the job done. Told ya. This guy's tough. Nice shot. Now what are we gonna do with them? Well, if somebody hadn't destroyed the containment cartridge... Cartridge? I don't need no cartridge! I got a better plan. Was your plan? You see anybody complaining? So, uh, what about that planet killer guy? What are you so nervous about? You're not a planet. <laughs> All right, if it'll make you feel better, I'll go back and throw him in the ocean too. I don't think that's an option. your jacked up alien butt a temporary setback but thanks to your laser feast i feel good enough to kill a thousand planets guess where i'm going to start
Uh, I don't know. Your mom's house? <laughs> Think you're the only dude who's got moves? Coop, be careful. Trust me. Okay. Different tactic. Ah, pointless resistance. This takes me back. Ah, double deuce! <laughs> the Magno Flex! Now you'll see why they call me Gurkak the Planet Killer. Actually, you'll be too dead to see anything. But you get the idea. He's generating a fusion reaction! That sounds bad. Generally, yes. We can't just let him waste the Earth! He's approaching critical mass. We don't have any way to cool him down and stop the explosion. First, he smashes my car, which I was gonna fix, by the way. Then he breaks my video game! Coop, you broke that. I'm on a roll here, man! And now he wants to break my planet? Well, I got news for you, buddy. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. Ah! What's this? For you? Who's ruined the day now, huh? No prison can hold me! I have come back before! Dude, you're embarrassing yourself. So what are we gonna do with him? There's plenty more sea in the sea. He's too dangerous for that. Too bad we don't have some sort of containment unit or cartridge for him. Hey! You're right, dude. This is way better. Watch this. I lurp you. I'll give you something to lurp. Sweet. I lurp you. I demand you return me to my maximum security interdimensional prison. <laughs> this is... This is... <laughs> 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 oh, my sides hurt. Oh. Oh, oh. Now this is a game worth playing. <sighs> as long as Gurkek is trapped for good, I don't care. So, Jamie, when we go on shopping again? Good day, huh? I saved the world and invented a new video game. Save the world, flooded Jersey City. Not bad. And you know, it kind of looks better this way anyhow. <laughs> <laughs>